bring up this next guy. We've known him for a while. It's always a pleasure to have him grace the stage here. I want you to make him feel welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Ken Miller. Let him know, Ken Miller. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, as you heard, I am a slow learner. Now, I have to make something clear with you folks. Asher, he's got a condition. He don't appreciate people staring at him. No, seriously, for your own safety, please keep your eyes and ears on the comedian. No, seriously, Asher is extremely awesome. He uh, went up in a hot air balloon over Albuquerque, New Mexico, face to face with a gorilla at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, and he's been in the capital of the United States. No, sir, it wasn't January 6th. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's really awesome. Um, now, Oh shit, he's getting ready to pounce. Um, yeah, please, like I said, don't, don't look at him. Now, mental illness, it can be a bitch. And, oh shit, yeah, he's, he's ready. Uh, mental illness, it can be a bitch. And uh, some people can't handle it. But I noticed... <laughs> no, I'm just saying this guy over here definitely can't handle mental illness. Uh, luckily, sorry, sir. Luckily, I can. Sorry, sir. Now, some people, they think my mental illness came from the military. Others, from drugs. Now, be, me personally, what put me over the edge was my son's mother. Now, what was that woman's name? Oh, yeah, plaintiff. No, I'm not bitter. I'm broke. I'm not bitter. <laughs> now, uh, my childhood friends, they believe, he's going to pounce, man, I'm serious, and, and we're not insured for this. Um, so anyways, some people think my mental illness came from the military, others from drugs. Now, oh, I already told you that, right? <laughs> my bad. Well, anyways, the beautiful thing about, what. Well, my, uh, my, I recently been seeing my psychiatrist up at the Bay Pines Veterans Hospital, and uh, he recently retired. Yeah, he, he did, and he's a lucky bastard. He, uh, <laughs> our last session, quote, Mr. Miller, you are one extremely mentally ill individual, and I believe you should consider getting into comedy. Unquote. No, so here I am. Yes. Yes. I like it a lot. I do. Now, the beautiful thing about getting into comedy in your 60s, well, hell, you made it. Discounts galore. We know it. You know, hell, that's what we live for. Coffee instead of cocaine. And my personal favorite, depends. No, Hey, tell me, you ever waited in line for the bathroom at a concert or a sporting event? I never have. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Hell, I'm peeing right now. <laughs> no, seriously, it's beautiful. Let me get another cocktail. Let's tip out Stanley's night because it's an awesome show coming up. Now, uh, <laughs> People don't realize that once you're over the hill, you start picking up speed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, uh, man, he's getting ready to pounce. I'm just saying. So anyways, uh, I am really struggling. It's like a very eerie feeling being the same age as old people. No, seriously. Seriously, man, it's freaking me out. I consider myself a good guy. I do. But I have to be honest. I don't always go the extra mile. I don't. 
And when I do, I miss the exit. <laughs> Family, friends, and just life in general, I am tired of fixing things. You know how I feel, right? You mean I know we don't know how we feel because we're always fixing shit. So from now on, if it floats, drives, or has a vagina, I'm renting. <laughs> no, seriously. Now Asher, he is 11 years old. He is badass. He took a messed up man and took him from the dark and moved him to the light. He truly did. Now, I, I have to share this with you tonight. Asher has recently been diagnosed with a severe effort deficiency. Look at him, he's freaking lazy! We love you all, thank you, have a great one. Asher said he is just fucking thrilled to be here tonight.